Hi there. Um, in this video, we're going to continue our lessons in compound interest. Um, in particular, we're going to talk about now the compounding periods. Okay, so this is um, our lesson two for compound interest. So when interest can be compounded more frequently than once a year, remember, in our previous examples, um, it's, it is specifically written that the interest is compounded annually or compound or annual compound interest. Now, why is it really specific like that? Because we can compound the interest more than once a year. So this is the one that we are used to, the annual, that's n equals one. Um, in a while, I'm going to present a formula with the n. Okay, semi-annually or bi-annually, that's twice a year. So therefore, we have n equals two, meaning the interest has been compounded twice a year. Quarterly, that's four times a year. Um, meaning the interest has been compounded four times a year. A monthly, 12 times a year, n equals 12. Daily, 365 times a year, that's n equals 365. We're, go we're going to use um, um, the ordinary 365 times a year, and we're going to disregard the leap years for this to make it simple, okay? Now, what is the formula if n is in, uh, okay? If, if we're going to consider, if n is considered, okay? So the future value f of principal amount p borrowed or invested at an annual interest rate of r compounded n times a year is presented by this formula. Okay, so that is f is equal to p, your principal, times the quantity of 1 plus r over n. Why is it r over n here? Because um, previously there's no n over n. So what it means here is that our r, our interest, has been compounded, has been divided into n times in a year because r is an annual interest rate. So you need to divide it by the number of times you, you apply that formula or you apply that um, interest. And then raise to t now, number of years, times the number of time in a year that you're doing it. So where f is the future value, p is the principal amount, r is the annual interest rate, n is the compounding period, and t is the time in years. Okay, so let's present or let's move on to our next example, number five. So find the future value of 2,000 pesos after a year at 3% interest rate compounded quarterly, monthly, and daily. Okay, so let's show the solution now as an example. So the solution for this, um, for quarterly, okay, you can solve it. You just change the n into four. Number two, just change the n into 12. Number three, just change the n into 365. Okay, you may use your calculators for this. Okay, I think I will let you answer this in a while. Okay, I kindly pause the video now. Okay, I think that's enough. You have already the answer, and I believe these are your answers. Okay, right? So, for number one, even though the numbers are are not that big, the only difference is in the centavos. But you can see that as the n increases, the value, the future value, also increases a little bit. Okay, but the thing is, it's it's different from one or another. So for number one, let's try to check that by calculators: two thousand times quantity of one plus um, zero point zero three divided by four raised to one times four. One times four is just four equals okay pretty much the same but it's 0.678 so just round it up it's gonna become 0.68 by the nearest centavo for number two two thousand pesos times one plus 0 0.03 we can route, we can use the fraction bar instead of the fraction bar we can use the divide divided by symbol um, especially for those calculators which cannot um, you know put the fraction bar in so the answer is the same 0.83 point Actually, it's 0.8319, so just retain, round down. And then 2,000 times 1 plus 0 0.03 divided by 365 because it's daily raised to 365. That's 2,060.91. Actually, it's 0 0.906. Round it up, 0.91. Okay, so that's the solution for our first example for compound interest. Let's proceed to example 6. Suppose you invest 50,000 pesos at a 15% interest rate, compounded semi-annually. Here we go. Determine the future value of your investment after three years. So you can pause the video now to answer. 
Okay? Now, since it's a worded problem, we're going to make use of our um, procedure, given, ask, solution. For the given, we first look at the 50,000. That's your P because you invested that amount. Um, we have an interest rate of 15% in decimal. That's 0.15. Um, and it's compounded semi-annually. So our N is equal to 2 because that happens twice a year. And our time is 3 years. So time is time T is 3. What is ask? It's very clear. Determine the future value. That's your F. And the solution, um, copy the formula and then substitute. So we have 50,000 together, 50,000 in our calculators, times, open parenthesis, 1 plus 0 0.15 divided by 2. Close parenthesis, don't forget that, please, because if you don't, if you do not put the parenthesis, it's like it's going, it's just going to raise the, uh, raise the two, not the whole quantity. Close parenthesis, raise two. Now, um, this is just a te some technicalities in the calculator. You see here in the in the um, what do you call this in the exponent that we have three times two. In the calculator, if you're going to put raise to the the wedge, okay. If you're going to put the carrot symbol, it's just if you're going to put three times two only. It's only going to raise the um, the number, this quantity, by 3 and multiply the answer by 2. So technically, it's only raising 3 and then putting the 2 beside it, beside not beside the, this number, not beside the exponent. So in order to, to clean that up, before you put the 3 times 2, raise 2, open parenthesis first. Okay, I hope you're, you're following. Open parenthesis, 3 times 2, close parenthesis, which means the 3 times 2 is really above, that is in the exponent part. So if we're going to click that, the answer is correct. That's 77,165 pesos and 0.08 because it's rounded up, that's 0.08. Imagine if you're not going to click the parenthesis in the exponent part, your answer will turn out to be 124,229, which is wrong. Okay, so better um, be careful, cautious, be cautious because calculators are very technical things. Um, one, one symbol um, forgotten is one answer being, being wrong. Okay, so please take note of that. Let's have another example. Okay, let's, I'm going to read it once. To have a capital for a small food business, Nick borrowed 10,000 pesos at 2% interest rate compounded quarterly. How much does Nick need to pay after two years? Okay, I'll leave you with this one. Um, you can pause the video to answer. Okay, so let's have this again. Um, we're going to make use of the given ask solution method, the gas. So you have this capital, Nick borrowed this amount, that's your P principal. 2% um, interest rate, that's 0 0.02 if it is in decimal form. It's compounded quarterly. So quarterly is um, 4 and you have 2 as your number of years. That's right at first and then quarterly is 4. Okay, what is asked? How much does Nick need to pay? Okay, so imagine Nick borrowed um, this amount at this um, compound interest quarterly and Nick will pay that after 2 years. I mean the full amount. Nick will pay the full amount. Now, the question is, how much does he need to pay for the full amount? So that's your future value. Okay, so for our solution, just use the formula and then substitute. Here we go. Okay, so let's use our handy-dandy calculators for that. So 10,000 times 1 plus 0 0.02 divided by 4, close parenthesis, raise to, okay, that is the caret, Open parenthesis, 2 times 4, close parenthesis, equal sign. The answer is 10,407.07. Okay, again, let me, let us do again the, the calculator technicals. Write on your calculators, be with me. 10,000 times open parenthesis. Write 1 plus, put 0 0.02 divided by 4. Don't forget to close the parenthesis to indicate the grouping. Raise 2, click the raise 2 button. 
open parenthesis, put 2 times 4, and close parenthesis. Sorry, close parenthesis. And of course, the equal sign. And this will come out. Okay, so I think this is the um, the good time to end the video. Um, hopefully, you understood how to how to do the compound the compound interest if it has compounding periods. Um, if have if you have any problems, you can of course rewatch this video um, so that you can have the mastery of how to use compounding periods. Okay, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, hit the like button, wish you please, and thank you very much for watching. See you.